the following circuit find VG and IG? So as I talk about, sometimes I do um, an evaluation of whether it's a single node pair or a single loop and whether KCL or KVL would be more beneficial. This is an example where e either method would yield the same number of equations. So it doesn't really matter. So um, because we're practicing circuit analysis, I will show you both of them. So if I label a ground here, I'm going to name this node V1 and name this node V2. I don't name this node anything because this node's name is five angle negative 90 degrees. Now, if I do the mesh current method, then I know the name of this current is already labeled as IG. I don't give this current a name because its name is five amps. And then I will label this current I want. So if you're going to do the mesh current method, you're going to get two equations. And the two equations are going to be starting with IG, J3IG plus five times IG minus I1 minus J3 times IG minus five, and that equals zero. Then if we do KC, KVL at I1, you're going to have J2 times I1 minus five plus five times I1 minus IG plus five angle negative 90 degrees, and that equals zero. Now the node, node voltage method Starting with KCL at V1, I'm going to have V1 minus five angle negative 90 degrees over J3 plus V1 minus V2 over negative J3 and that equals five angle zero degrees in amps. If I do KCL at V2, I'm going to have V2 minus V1 over negative J3 plus V2 over J2 plus V2 minus five angle negative 90 degrees over five and that equals zero. And now it's time for us to solve. So solving the mesh current equations, we're going to get that I1 is equal to zero amps and IG is equal to three with an angle of negative 90 degrees in amps. And so to solve for VG, VG is going to be negative J3 times five minus I2, IG. So VG is equal to 17.49 with an angle of negative 59 degrees. Now to solve the node equations, we're going to get that V1 equals 10.29 with an angle of negative 29 degrees. And V2 is equal to 10 with an angle of 90 degrees. VG is equal to V1 minus V2, and it should be the same as what we got before, and it is. It's 17.49 with an angle of negative 59 degrees. And finally, IG. IG should be equal to V1 minus five angle negative 90 degrees divided by J3, and that should also be the same as what we got before. So that is three with an angle of negative 90 degrees. Please let me know what you thought about in the comments. Let me know if you have any questions. Please like, share, and subscribe, and stay STEMtastic.